Now we have been joined on the program by the research analyst, uh, research analyst is FSDH Merchant Bankers, Mr. Ayodele Akin Wumi. Thank you very much for coming on the program, sir. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So let's take a look at the bonds market and, of course, the treasury bills market. Uh, what would you say you observed this week? Thank you very much. Um, I think the market was a bit quiet this week. The, there was an auction at the uh, treasury bill market this week, mm -hmm. and we saw that yield um, dropped marginally um, on the the longer, longest turn on um, end of the market. Right. We compared with what we had in the previous auction. That's the auction that in the midweek. Um, and of course, it maybe could be linked to the expectation of a um, marginal drop in inflation that we're expecting um, going forward in terms of the rate of increase. Right. Um, and again, there has been a lot of attention, interest on this treasury bill in the last few weeks yeah. um, on that auction. So that's filtered in into the yield. Of course, the yield still close about 22%, um, that one-year treasury bill. The same thing we had for the 182-day and the 91-day um, treasury bill. But I, again, at that level, it's still very attractive, only that the one-year um, is the only one that is trading at above the int um, inflation rate um, at the moment. In terms of treasury bills now, we saw over subscription at the primary market option. What was, this drive, what was the driving factor for that? Uh, I mean, there seems to be limited um, investment opportunities at the moment. Like I mentioned earlier, we have seen uh, equities market investors are not looking at that area uh, so much now except for some isolated um, demand that we have in that sector. Um, so the only area that investors are looking at now at the moment is, um, you know, basically the treasury bill market. We also seen that uh, we have seen that the bond market, um, even though the yield on that bond market is currently lower than what we have on the treasury bill. Mm -hmm. So because of the attractive yield that people, um, investors are seeing on the treasury bill market, that's why a lot of people are going into it. And you've seen even people who have not bought treasury bill now before. Um, and saying, oh, making, um, finding out information about this, we want to buy treasury bill, we want to buy treasury bill. So we've seen a lot of demand mm -hmm. for it, both from institutional investors and from uh, um, private investors. And it keeps growing. Yeah. So we saw that CBS rates actually declined 3.4% week on week, and of course this is a, some kind of bullish sentiment, but some analysts are, uh, say or attribute it to the fact a uh, fed federal allocation account that, uh, that was actually disbursed uh, a few days back. Do you agree with this analysis? Uh, it's quite small. Uh, for me, I think it's more of the demand. Okay. And again, uh, like I mentioned earlier, an expectation of a gradual um, rate, of rate, rate of increase in a slowdown in the rate of increase in the inflation rate. Uh, for the first time in over so many years, over 11 years now, you saw, um, we saw inflation crossing 18%. Yeah. Uh, it's going to increase inch up a little bit in um, November when the November numbers will be released and even December. Uh, but however, the rate of increase is gradually slowing down and uh, with the news in the market that um, there is now rice is now being sold at about 8,000 8, Naira in South-South. Um, of course, we are buying it at about 22, 22, 23, 24,000 Naira per bag, 50 um, kilogram in Lagos now. Yeah. If this is supplied to the market and it comes to the market, prices may come down, which also may actually inf um, affect, has positive impact on inflation rates. And therefore, when inflation rate is coming down, um, the yield on some of these securities, particularly the short term, may likely come down. So I, for me, I think it's about demand. And of course, there is positive news at the equities market. Uh, many times from now, you will say that there will be likely a, a switch of portfolio from that segment of the market to equities market, which will mean that there will be less demand. And that's just... Um, what's going on at the moment. Okay, so we also know that the, on the bond side now, uh, it went as high as 10 business points this week. What could have informed that idea? Because yes, we know everyone is tilting towards the, all the investors are moving towards TBS, but what's with the bonds market at this time? Okay, so i, I just like to quickly explain what's actually going on now. Now, you see what we are seeing now is the short end of the market, the mm. Treasury Bill 91, 182 day and one, um, 364 days, yeah. having a very high interest rates, mm. I mean yield in this count. As against, so the yield you have on the Treasury, uh, the bonds now, which are 
about three year, five year, even 20 years, yeah. uh, within 15, 16 um, yield. Yeah. So, and uh, that's, people feel is like an inverted yield curve. And uh, what that shows is that there are expectations that maybe in the next one year, interest rate may likely drop. Mm. However, and one of the things that we tell our um, investors, our clients, is the fact that you need to have a balanced portfolio. You need to have, because if you have 15% consistently for the next 20 years, yeah. and you have 20%, 22% now that will last for, say, two years, and after which you may likely have reinvestment risks. So you need to balance your portfolio. Yes, you are taking advantage of the current yield in the market, mm -hmm. the high yield in, on treasury bill. Remember that sometimes last year, we, the treasury bill on all the, um, the treasury bill yield, the yield on treasury bills on all the tenors were actually lower than inflation rates. Yeah. And I was one of the analysts that said, this is not good, you know, attract investors, interest in these securities. And so that switch is what we are seeing at the moment. And uh, um, investors are also looking at that and re readjusting their portfolio in favor of that. And of course, there is a need for um, investors to, for the federal government and even the usual to um, encourage investors to invest in all this. And of course, that is also in, in bonds. It's yeah. also in line with the strategy of the federal government. And to, I mean, they've come up with um, guidelines on what they want to do. Yeah. A guideline is to the extent that they want to uh, move the um, larger proportion of the domestic debt into the longer tenor. And therefore, um, so they will want to ensure that people um, take that, um, invest in that longer tenor. And so, but by and large, the um, transactions we are having at the moment is just people taking advantage of the right. short term imbalances in the economy to invest in that, to in treasury bill and as against that. And when government sees that, and federal government sees that, and the definitely in office, they will know what to do to ensure that they um, incentivize investors mm -hmm. towards the um, bonds, which is, of course, a longer term. Okay, so just hold on to your thoughts. Of course, we'll still have you on the program, and we'll come back to review the equity markets together.